So the first symptom of cytokine release syndrome is usually a high fever and that's often accompanied by um, a drop in blood pressure or hypoxia or organ dysfunction. Uh, the other thing to observe for is neurotoxicity. This tends to occur slightly later than cytokine release syndrome but again it can occur at any time. Um, the Symptoms of neurotoxicity can be quite variable, um, but one of the symptoms that is um, important to watch out for is a change in handwriting. Um, so whilst this might seem an unusual thing to check for and something that we don't really monitor routinely in our patients, it's something that can be the first sign of um, deterioration from a neurological perspective. So with regards to neurotoxicity, there's a new assessment tool uh, called the ICANS tool. That stands for Immune Effector Cell Associated Neurotoxicity Syndrome. This involves asking patients uh, for questions regards to orientation, so the city they're in, the hospital they're in, the year, the month, month um, and one of the um, more unique assessments in this tool is the assessment of handwriting. So one of the symptoms of neurotoxicity can be a change in handwriting. So this tool assesses the patient's handwriting uh, every time you do it. You get them to write a sentence, you do it right at the beginning and we assess them twice daily at least uh, following infusion to observe for any signs of deterioration from a neurological perspective.